So, dude, I'm really excited about this new partnership. It's gonna be great. It's, yeah. It's perfect. Mm. I will always love you. I'm sorry about that. It's kind of weird sometimes. So, Jordan. Nick. Yes. Today's question comes from 22-year-old Mike. He says, hey Nick and Tim, I'm Jordan. Love the show. I've only been in two relationships in my life. The first was with my childhood sweetheart who I met in middle school and fell hopelessly in love with class of Tim. After years of pursuing her, we finally started a relationship in our final year, but nothing lasts forever, and as school ended, so did we. Fast forward a few years, and I'm now in a four year strong relationship with my current partner, with a two year old son whom I love to bits. We couldn't be happier with each other and are maybe even planning baby number two. So despite being in a loving relationship, I sometimes find myself thinking of my first girlfriend and reminiscing, or wondering what she's up to now. I tell myself that it's impossible to completely bury feelings for someone, but am I being dishonest with my current partner by still harboring these feelings? No, that's what Facebook is for. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, I mean that, that's like, the look, thing. I, I think what you're suffering from right now is what we, what's known in the trade as the grass is always greener on the other side mm. syndrome. Mm. Um, there's always going to be a little bit of wonder because there's always options in life. But what it means to be a man is you have to actually just commit and devote yourself to this relationship, which it sounds like you're doing, which is fantastic. Yeah, I think I think that's the kind of the best part is that like you're happy. You know, it's not like you're wondering, oh, like I'm happy now, and like there's something out there, could it be better? It's like, no, I'm happy. I'm just kind of wondering what's going on with that, and like that's just a curiosity that people have. And I think that that makes that makes a lot of sense. I think the most important thing is to feel your feelings. You know, like if you want to, if you're curious, like cool, explore that. Just you know, obviously, you need to respect the relationship you're in because that is that's really all that matters. If you establish yourself in the current relationship, then you know having those feelings is not unnatural no. to, for, the, for no. the previous one, but you know, if you're really feeling like you want to keep that current relationship going, you're probably gonna have to, you know, figure something out to, you know, if you feel like it's the right thing to come clean about it and, you know, talk about it mm -hmm. with, with your current, you know, uh, was it girlfriend's wife? Or wife, wife, yeah. wife. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it's either that or you just have to kind of put those feelings to rest. Yeah, exactly. And I, I definitely think that there's there's a clear line, you know, where it's just like it's it's acceptable to look at a Facebook. It's not acceptable to start not reaching out. To Facebook message. It's exactly. Not acceptable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah like there is a it's very... not acceptable to just go get coffee with each other. No. Yeah. The, draw the line. Again, I'm not saying you're wrong for this. I'm. I, it, you spent a lot of time with this person, and at one point, this person meant a lot to you. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with still hard, like having a little bit of, you know, love for that person, love for your life. But you have to, you have to draw the distinction between having affection for someone who meant something for you and being with your wife and kid. That is the most important thing. That takes precedence over all. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Where can people Thanks find you? Thanks for having you? me. Well, you can find me over at uh, the Creature Hub, uh, which is YouTube.com/slash/TheCreatureHub, or YouTube.com/slash Kutcher is my personal channel. There you yep. go. Ladies and gentlemen, Love and Sex Stuff happens every Monday, 9 a.m., right here on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny. Nick? Tim? Could they get t-shirts? They can get t-shirts. Where? You go to kindoffunny.com forward slash store where we have this t-shirt and this t-shirt. Not this t-shirt, though. I wish we sold this, but can I no, have, I mean, that you can have one of these. That's if you click around, around you'll eventually kind of like find it. Yeah. Go there, get you some. You're going to enjoy the shit out of it. Put it all over your body. Until next week, I love you.